Yeah, I'm just doing drops right now. Just doing at least like five minute segment, then stop recording, then record. Yep. So um, uh, yeah, man, it's just you know, another day, another dollar for me, man. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing really going on besides that multi billion dollar deal. Uh, Elon Musk just did with uh, Kanye West. I, I tweeted both of them. I hollered at Kanye. I said, I'm, you know, thank me in advance, blah, blah, blah. I shot a business. I did uh, move to him. Kanye West on Twitter. I told him, hey, the uh, cologne industry is about to take a hit. Nobody can smell with all these masks on our face. And it's the truth. It's the <laughs> truth. So I said, hey, man, when you ready to do some business, you know, you got, I don't know if you got Twitter or not, but if you got Twitter, you know, check it out. And I'm shooting these niggas day by day because I feel like, hey, what's the what's what's the point of having all this knowledge locked up in your head, and, and, and you ain't shooting it out there or let a nigga know how brilliant or genius you is. Now me, you know, on my on my business and with my prototype, my inventions and shit, I know about the NDAs and all that. Now I ain't gonna be dumb and, and say no shit about my shit, but as far as the way I think, I I, I think I I deserve to show the world a little bit of my wisdom, and that's what I do on Twitter. As far as tagging and atting these CEOs and these rich ass billionaires. Like I'm not looking at these little low level niggas that's millionaires, fuck that. I'm hollering at these niggas with my ideas that's already there. You see what I'm saying? And they retweet my shit. The nigga from Dogecoin, the creators of Dogecoin retweet my tweets all the time, bro. And I used to go get let, you know, let it get me hype and all, but it's like, bro, it's just like, fuck it. Why not? So it's like, that's free promotion for me. And then my Twitter, you know, I had that mud since 09, since Connor, when I had my first computer in your old room or whatever. So, like I said, man, they gonna hear me out every day. I'm just gonna give them something new, something new on Twitter. I'm saying when I'm directly talking to these key individual people that I feel can, in a blink of an eye, retweet what I said or respond to what I'm, I'm saying. So I'm that's what I'm saying. I'm at the point where it's like, Fuck talking. Like, you got to directly holler at these people. Master P, every day. Boom. I'm on this nigga. I'm in his DMs. I'm on this nigga. I'm showing these motherfuckers I got potential, and I'm not just a a, a, a troll or or, or a, a Twitter finger-ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Or looking for clout. Man, fuck that. And they see my work. My work's, you know, it shows for itself as far as my, you know, where I'm going with the content and whatever. But I ain't, you know, I'm humble about mine, you know? I'm not about to be all going crazy. Just re all it takes is one tweet, bro. One retweet. And I get re retweets all the time, bro. Like if Snoop Dogg retweet my shit tomorrow, that's all I need. I'm just saying for my brand to, to give me that, that boost, you know, that I need. I can care less about followers. I can care less about all that shit, nigga. Uh, I ain't no profit. I mean, this ain't church. I mean, this is, you know, every day. Uh, uh, from the, from the spirit, you know what I'm saying? So that's just the type of stuff I be on, bro. I just contribute to what I'm into. Those coin what I'm into. I believed in it three years ago and I seen something in it then and always told, always knew and had faith, you know what I'm saying? So now the more and more people keep talking about it, the more and more uh, it's gonna be, <laughs> trust me, you know what I'm saying? It's too late, it's, it's pretty much too late now. That's you know why I'm trying to get you on this uh this new tip, which more of your avenue where you can see your money work for you, and don't take a large hit with this clubhouse. This this digital. I can't get clubhouse. You got iPhone Digi products, bro. You uh, look. Digits, you guy. I'm talking about stocks. I'm talking about investing in a stock now. I'm talking about get li you listen. Get the, uh, investment I'm startup hey. stage. Hey, 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 I'm out of that game because I already know what's going on. Oh, all right. Well, don't, I, I mean, just shot it to you. You know, no. that's all. I shot it to you once. I ain't shooting it, you know, again. But no, I already know it's going it's gonna to go up. That just ain't my flavor. Oh, okay. Cool. Just like TikTok, you know. I miss the Instagram wave because I just ain't feel like being like nobody else when I was staying in Woodhaven. So I got on it kind of late. So after that way, I'm saying as far as using social media to make you money. I'm not talking about for nobody else. This is my home, uh, you know, using it to make you money. So TikTok got on it early. Because, that's because a lot of people ain't got no jobs now. Everything is going on either into the stock market yeah. or either in the coin and do Dodge coin and all this other stuff. Yeah, Everything but is it ain't no different from Facebook. Everybody in their mama own it. And it's, oh, it's just a sure. fact. 
right? It's just, it's, it's just a fact, right? So that shit is a dying era. Facebook going to like my space. It's going to die out. I'm just trying to let niggas know early if you want to make some money. I ain't talking about for, you know, personal. I'm talking about money. I but, so, I, but like I say, we going into a digital world. Oh, yeah, for it's sure. All, it's all control. Oh, yeah. But right now, it's 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 pretty much uh when it go public, when, when Clubhouse go public, it's going to be too late. So I got my money in it already. So I'm just, you know, hey. Just let niggas know as I go on to new things, cause when I my, when I you know see it work, I'm on some different like how Fifty be moving, like executive producing books, music, you know. Uh, his girl Cuban Link got the uh, what is it waist trainer belt. Uh, yeah, it's just so many different ways to just get to the bag, you know. So I'm just happy. It's just, it's an exciting time, man. If people are hungry enough for it, you know. And it'll really pay off next year if you grind it out completely this year, like um, most people doing. And every day, if you do the research, man, they say every day, dog, a young entrepreneur, uh, what they say, 20, 20 to 30 new uh, millionaires are being created under the age of 21 in America. Mm-hmm. And um, it's just like what I'm uh, what I be saying, um, just coming up with good ideas or getting behind some early, you know, and then when they go public. You own like 20% of the company or whatever, or a giant, like if a giant buys a company that you got equity and stakes in, uh, you know, you get that check right there. That's a boss move like 50 made with that vitamin water I like, man. Like what was that, 60 million, I think? And uh, that's just having key people around you too. That's, uh, you know, tapped in uh, a lot as far as like um, the business game and shit, man, but. Man, I'm, man, you you don't have a clue, dog. So, uh, what's the what's the next gun? You said you gonna try to look at that next. Um, what you say earlier just now? Uh, either a Marine Mossberg five ninety or either a Marine uh Remington eight seventy. Okay. So, what you think about the um? It's um, hey, what is it? A PP? I think it is a. I think is it. It's like uh in a in a movie uh James Bond, but it's like a real gun. You can get it. It's like a submachine gun, but it's like a, what is it? A PC three hundred, but they hard to get, man. That's that's one of them guns I'm trying to get. Like, this Sportsman website I came across in Troy, they got a big ass selection, but it seemed like a lot of shit, man. Drying up. Yeah, niggas is buying guns left and right. Yeah, they overdoing it, dog. But well, another guess, thing too. Was- is- it was one available the last three days. I go back on her. That it's shit. gone. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but look, another thing too was uh like when next time you go to Myers or somewhere with a book uh magazine selection, take a picture of the um the thing in it so you can get a subscription at home where they send you gun magazines. Uh, mm-hmm. And then you can get a heads up early on stuff before it come out so you can get locked in if you really want something, you know. Cause I, I'm thinking about getting a Coke 44 too, man. A classic ass Coke 44, man, with a um nice uh uh um uh, marble um you know how um in Cobra uh uh Sylvester Stallone had that coat. Uh-huh. Yeah, man, because it ain't nothing like classic steel now, you know what I'm saying? Like them the type ones you wear in your jeans without a holster, nigga. I ain't playing with no Glock in my shit without a holster, dog. I can't do it. Hell no, nah, nigga. But um Another gun, man, like I said, the FN, they real expensive. And the ammo, oh boy. Yeah, the ammo is basically like AK 47 ammo for a pistol. It's just a that's, little smaller. And it's in the velocity why, rate. That's the only reason why I ain't fooling with all these eight. Anything that's an assault rifle, man, you might as well hang it up on trying to get ammo, dog. Or just I'm, make, just make your own. What you're going to get is when you first buy it and they give you a couple of boxes for sale. Yeah, That's but look, look, we got everything we need around us. Intelligence, the internet, and wisdom, and spirit, right? So if you think about the animatics of a, a, a bullet, it's gunpowder. Where's gunpowder? Fireworks. Where's fire, fireworks? On Telegraph, near Walmart, it's a fireworks shop, right? They thinking you about to buy mm-hmm. shit for explosions, but really, you collecting copper shells from, from all uh, uh, gun ranges across the fucking state and, and you re 
re uh packing it with uh, uh gunpowder and all you doing is making your own steel casting it and melting you know in molds and you i'm saying as far as the back in the day rifles where they had to pack them and you know but you can apply that to the new ones too but you know hey shit, when shit get hard you can make your own ammo it's possible it's it's not you know a huge feat you know uh, just start learning about it now. So when the internet turn off, it'd be like second to nothing to you to know how to do it. That's all. That's the type of stuff I'll be on, man. And uh, taser guns, uh, mace. You can't never go wrong with mace because you ain't got to kill niggas all the time. You might want to mace a nigga up and poke a nigga once or twice in his side, let him bleed out and hope, you know, the EMS to save the nigga. But at least you have a big ass car to remind a nigga, you know, don't be doing fuck shit. And then it's always somebody out here a little bit more, you know, on that type of time than you. Cause you know, you mace a nigga and then smack the shit out of nigga a couple times, carry on with your day. You know, you got a case of road rage, a nigga want to hop out the car, you ain't gonna blow him away, man. Let the nigga breathe, let him live, man. Just mace a nigga up real good and, and, and smack the taste out the nigga mouth and pull the fuck off, man. Or or if, if you if you wanna really tase him in the motherfucking in the brain with a taser, nigga with the mace on his face and, and, you know it's shit like that or kick a nigga in the nuts and keep it moving man we ain't gonna always got to kill these niggas you know just give them something to wake up and be thankful to be alive and i'm the type of nigga will pull it out and put it to a nigga head like i would do you but i ain't got time for no i ain't the reaper i ain't the reaper you know i ain't the one man but some niggas you some of them gotta go some of them gotta go though because they they all here on uh, on that other shit these days. Okay. Harmony, who in the oh, show? I definitely put a nigga out of his misery. Fuck with my family now. Yeah. Man, I mess a nigga up. Have fun with his ass, man. That's all. I ain't, I ain't trying to kill nobody, man. If I ain't got to, even if they come in the crib, man, I'll be like, hey, I will kill y'all. Got every right in the world, man. Just get the fuck out and don't come back no more because I'll kill you the next time, you know? <laughs> but if a nigga coming in and he got a gun on him or some shit, that's a different story now. I'm, I have a, I will do it. And I'm, I'm not going to lose lose no sleep over it and I'm not going to be crying and all this shit, PTSD and uh, flashbacks. No, nigga. Yeah, I'm going to take JJ to the range when that boy reopen. I told Honesty I'm going to uh, take her next with me. And... uh. You know, because I'm going to get her in archery school this summer, too, man. And I think it's cool. And uh, she can have other qualities and attributes to her characteristics as a woman, a young lady, to, uh, you know, survival and shit, man. Because uh -huh. a lot of us got this shit installed in us, and we don't even know it. As far as our ancestors, Indians, anything. Just just tribal, not tribe, but just... uh uh having tapping into uh knowledge that you know we got but we just act like sometimes we can get be left, left behind and think we don't know these things but it's it's hey, you know we pretty much came from, we all came from the same source shit and no one person ain't no different from the next person it's got different bloodlines oh exactly that's what i was gonna say next but that bloodline is a motherfucker Even in the black races yes sir yeah yeah you, you, you yes I, yeah, you're damn right that's the key key word bloodline saying you a nigga can look identical to you but that if that bloodline ain't the same they're not gonna be the same spirit well, got, they're not gonna be the same person they're not gonna have the same got, heart you got neophytes and common commoners and you got uh Edo Mike's too. Them too. You got uh who's the other one? Um it's another one I can't think of. Yeah, you got Canaanites, you got Dan. Edo Mike. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That's why everybody can't 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 get to this level. I know. It ain't no end of no knowledge. There's no limit. Right. That's what I just said. Only limit is what you put on your 